Tonight, prosecutors in New York City are taking a fresh look at the assassination of Malcolm X, which took place exactly 55 years ago. New evidence from a Netflix documentary is raising questions about whether two men were sent to prison for murder they did not commit. Maurice Dubois takes a look. The six-part documentary presents new facts about Malcolm X's assassination and claims the police botched the investigation. The official count of who killed Malcolm X, it's not true. Malcolm X, alienated from the Nation of Islam, was killed in a barrage of bullets as he was about to give a speech in Harlem on this very day in 1965. Pandemonium broke out among the nearly 400 people gathered inside the Audubon ballroom. The chaos spilled out onto the sidewalk, where one suspect, Talmadge Hayer, had to be saved by New York City police officers. Two other men were later arrested, and all three were convicted in Malcolm's death. Phil Bertelson and Nyla Sims produced the documentary. The FBI had eyewitness testimony from presumably the nine informants that were in the room that day about who did the crime. Talmadge Hayer confessed, but the other men, Thomas Johnson and Norman Butler, who changed his name to Muhammad Aziz, maintained their innocence. Aziz, now 81, spent 20 years in prison. If I wanted to do it, I couldn't have done it. So that means they knew what they were doing when they put me in jail. The Manhattan DA's office recently announced it's opened a preliminary review of the murder. What do you hope happens here for him? I hope he gets exonerated. I hope he gets a, a fighting chance at clearing his name once and for all. A fighting chance to rewrite history. Maurice Dubois, CBS News, New York.